Tuesday. You know what that means? Tom's got the know-how. He's on your screen. Quick little tricks. Smart ideas that stick. It's Tuesday Tips with Tom. There are several techniques for when to extend the landing gear. Entering the pattern on downwind or a beam your touchdown spot in a visual arrival or at glide slope or glide path intercept or at the final approach fix on an instrument approach. All are versions of the concept gear down to go down. The idea being that doing things the same way every time makes it less likely you'll forget when distracted or under stress. But what if you're entering on a base leg or the tower has instructed you to make a long straight in final approach? What reminder can help you to avoid a gear up landing? That's the goal behind what I call the gear extension altitude. The concept is simple. As you near your destination, brief yourself on traffic pattern altitude. This is usually about 1,000 feet above field elevation, and this is your gear extension altitude, or GEA. Call out GEA as you descend, and extend the landing gear at gear extension altitude. If you've already put the gear down to control speed or rate of descent, confirm that it's down as you descend through GEA. Whether you're entering on a base leg, making a long straight in, or flying a traditional downwind pattern. Don't allow yourself to go below GEA without extending the landing gear and confirming that it is down. Identifying and using a gear extension altitude is another technique to overcome distraction and avoid a gear up landing. I'm Tom Turner. Thanks for taking two minutes to learn more about your Beechcraft.